All righty, here we go. Game number one of the semifinals final match this week, or final set this week. So we're going to be on Ultra Zine Stronghold in the bottom right-hand corner. Our purple Terran. He's crazy. He's going to do something insane for sure. It is. Canary. I bet he plays absolutely standard this game. <laughs> absolutely normal. That's the cheesiest thing a cheesy player can do is play standard. And the opponent in red from Team Celestial 7 spawning up in the top right hand corner of the map. Our second turn and God Director of the ASL it is. Saber. Okay. Well, you see that immediate scout across the map there from Canary. He wants to shoot these far away as worst case scenario with the kill. Indeed, they're both actually on the right side on the vertical here. Mm. <coughs> it's kind of weird to actually send the scout straight across. It's not something you see very often at all. No, it's definitely not. Usually in a square pattern. Uh, usually clockwise. And that's what you indeed saw Saber do here. And you're right, I'm already thrown off because Canary has gone standard so far. It's messing with me. Did you, know. were you just looking at the screen when the Saber graphic ran? No. It's not the normal graphic, put it that way. What was it? It's uh, it's a, well just watch next time, just watch it, I don't want to ruin it. Um, okay, so Canary has a... Uh, has been found by Saber. Sat in the uh, he sat in the bottom, and Saber's just scanning around, making sure that his opponent isn't putting down any particularly fast command centers. But as we see, Canary's getting that gas up nice and fast, going for what would be well, it looks like Reapers, except for how there's a really fast reactor. So could be a Reaper all in. No, he's getting a factory I'm, behind this. I know. In my mind, I'm only playing the craziest scenarios. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> normal for these. Oh, you're oh, right. I guess you're right. Okay. Maybe he's going to be kind of normal. Factory's going way in the back. Did it get spotted by that SCV out of curiosity beforehand? Yeah, it did. So, what what's the advantage of it sitting back there from your perspective? Uh, well, with the reactor having been built, what it says to me is that he's not planning on using the reactor with the factory. So, with that in mind, I think we're likely to see either a... Uh, a transition towards Banshees or Widow Mines, perhaps. You can also go single Hellion out of that uh, and just support it with a Starport as well. So really, all it tells us is that Canary's most likely going for a 1-1-1. Okay, a Tech Lab. So that does lend itself more naturally towards the uh, the Tech Lab Starport in most TVTs. But there's no guarantee. Tanks are also a viable thing, and you can never rule out anything that Canary's doing. <laughs> um, so Absolutely I'm... Not. Yeah, I... I just guess we'll have to wait and see. Saber being a little more standard, just making a few marines and looking like he's going to push out now. And it's, do you notice where he put his factory in Starport? Yeah, he's hiding it. Yep. But they're both kind of trying to hide it, but they're actually doing um, they're actually doing the same build basically. It's almost mirrored exactly. Oh, Banshee timing. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Canary has gone for second gas though, so it's more it's more committed, and I think perhaps because of yeah. Tanks, there we go. So the tanks now actually coming out for Canary, getting that extra gas out so he's got the options to, to spend the Vespine that Terran kind of lacks in the early game most of the time. Uh, whereas Saber, I think, is looking more like a Banshee timing. Yeah, there we go. Drifting yeah, over to that tickle now. Because he doesn't need as much gas since they reduced the cost of cloak. It's 100 100, isn't it? Yeah, 100 100 now. Um, and Canary's in kind of an acceptable position to defend a Banshee attack. Doesn't have an eBay and doesn't have a second command sender, so ah, that, that's it. So that cloak coming down, that could be instrumental in Saber's attack. Because without cloak, Canary's going to be very limited by the number of scans he has. He's going to be very <coughs> limited by his general lack of detection. And especially without a tech lab starport of his own to make a Raven, he's going to really struggle. Yeah, and he's not going to scan this because it's hidden all the way in the back. No, he, well, he shouldn't be scanning it anyway. He needs to be checking his own base. But he needs an extra command center or an eBay or something to keep himself in this. Otherwise, this Banshee could turn up and do some fairly catastrophic damage. Is this a one siege tank drop? Um, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I guess it is. Uh, all right. it's, it's all part of the plan. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. 
<laughs> that would be pretty funny. I'd like to see yeah. that. Oh, it's, it's a little unusual. Siege, two siege tank drop. Hmm. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Canary's planning to do with this at this point in time because this is. Oh, he's got the second medevac. He's got everything, and actually, this drop is going to be intercepted oh. and seen by the barracks. Now let's see what these marines do. I want to see if they flicker back or if they're going to oh, keep. You going see, forward. they've both seen each other, but somewhat in theory. Uh okay. I don't really know what happened there. They both doubled back a little bit and both reacted, and I'm not really sure where they <laughs> think they're going. But it's, I, they're both feel very awkward because they have the same yeah. timing. We're gonna see this landing. Uh, the tanks are gonna land right next to the factory, actually, and a uh, siege up in a pretty convincing position. I'd like to see a bit more of a spread, but back at the base of Saber. Saber's not microing. Canary's actually shot down the Banshee. That should not no have happened. Way. How did he pull that one off? That He's so happen. busy with these siege tanks. Oh yeah. my. One of those tanks has now gone down. Uh, and the Banshee, there, I don't think there's a scan for Canary, so we're going to see the lift up and the Marines. Oh my goodness. Okay. If he gets around the Widow Mines, and he does. Oh my goodness. And he's just going to go up to this corner. The missile turret chases him away a little bit. Banshees, obviously, whilst they are maneuverable, they can't really hunt down Medivac so well, but there is now a Viking coming out for Canary rather than Saber, so he's the one who's going to be able to chase away air units. Oh my god, this is funny. Saber still has a big macro need. Well, there goes that supply depot. <laughs> yeah, guess some. <laughs> uh, this is quite an interesting position. Just oh, Saber! Oh, oh. Doesn't quite get it. He gets yeah. the medevacs out there with the majority of the marines, and the medevacs are going to be very important moving into the mid-game for Canary. Uh, Saber doesn't really have any of those, but he isn't going to need them because he has already sent his barracks across the map, which means that more likely than not, we're going to see Saber angling from the mech play that he so often seems to favor. Yep. Now, he, he's going to continue. I feel like he didn't do as well as Canary in that engagement, but Canary doesn't have a natural, and yeah. his temp workers behind. So, yep. oh, the longer this goes like that, I feel like this is going to turn into a all-in from Canary. Very true. Canary is kind of already a little bit all-in. There isn't a whole lot going on for him uh, back at home, and he still hasn't made that extra command center, as you say, whereas Saber has two bases. That does give Canary an opportunity, oh. but I think if he lifts up and flies in just the wrong spot, he's either going to win or lose with this drop. This is a doom drop, and by virtue... Pretty yeah. all in, so here it comes, here it comes. This is the moment where the game could be decided. Oh! He's, he's got straight in! He's just oh, seen straight up! Oh, this is pretty bad. I don't know. Yep, yeah, there's the scam, but it's going to kite back with the Banshees. Uh, even with that Viking chipping away. No, he's just killed everything so far. The Banshees are dancing there and back. Going to try and heal up those Banshees with the STVs as well. Uh, and now that the scam has run out, but there's nothing to just stop him kind of lifting up. We could just see Canary lift and get into his medevacs, and the Banshees can't do anything. Instead, opting to fight with all of his Marines, that could be the wrong decision. I think that might have been the wrong decision. I don't know, I mean, he has gotten quite a few worker kills, and he saves the siege tank! It lives! <laughs> he does manage to save the siege tank. That, uh, <laughs> the Banshees are running out of cloak by now. The Wooden Mines are going to attempt to drive away the drop, but he really didn't have a lot going on back at home to allow him to transition to anything other than a straight win. And Saber's done his own damage back at home with a Banshee. That's why yeah. there's now 22 SCVs killed off for Canary as well as for Saber. Oh my goodness. Where is the detection? Oh, there's Widow Mines outside the front door too. Yeah. It's continuing to move across the map here. There's so little left at home. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Saber takes the first game. GG! ASL Season 2, Semi-Finals Round of Four. All right, folks, we're in game number two. Here on Star Station, in the upper left-hand corner, down one game, but never full of tricks up his sleeve, it is... <laughs> Canary. And his opponent in the red trunks in the bottom right hand corner of the map. We have our second turn for you tonight from Celestial 7. Saber. Make sure to pay attention to that. Oh, 
for it. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. Right, and uh, so far, I've I just lost five thousand dollars, but I don't think that was too much of a surprise. Oh, what? He didn't... What? Oh, man. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I see what you're talking about. Yep. His holiness. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah, he's a nut at all. In... Oh. All right, so... Oh, I have a huge ringing in my ear now. <laughs> um, okay. I was expecting... Which it looks like I was wrong, so I, I can go ahead and just say what I was wrong about. I expected him to Saber to go proxy Marauder. Really? Mm-hmm. Because how many hits does it take from a Reaper to kill a Marauder? If and if he goes quick slow, they'll never get away. I that makes that actually the not doing. amount of sense to me. <laughs> huh? That that kind of checks out. Um. I don't think it would work over time, but I kind of like the thinking behind it. Uh, but it's certainly, it's certainly, yeah, I'm not sure if you can get concussive fast enough uh, before the Reaper count becomes unmanageable, but I'm not totally sure about that. It's just kind of, I suppose they produce at the same rate, so it's two racks dependent. But uh, Canary, on the note of two racks, has built a second barracks hidden out on the map, and it does have a reactor on it, the one in the main, also with a reactor. So this is looking like some fairly significant Reapering, as, uh, as was predicted. <laughs> Did you put caster dollars on the Reapers? Uh, I think I, I think I put caster dollars on the CC first, and then oh, called okay. Reapers immediately afterwards. Oh, uh, God. Saber's actually gone from Marauders, though, as you said. Uh, it's because it's perfect against Mass Reaper. I'm really interested to see how this works. I've never seen anyone open concussive against Reapers. I'm not <laughs> sure if the armor and the hit points of the, of the Marauders is going to be enough to hold out for, for that long, but with three Reapers in production at any given time. So basically, Saber did exactly what I said without proxying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I kind of agree with that as well, because when you're at home, you can defend a little better. Whereas when you proxy the Marauders, you kind of put, split your base, and therefore the Reapers can be in two places at once, kind of baiting you out of position. They can go, oh, fine, I guess you're in my base. Well, I'll be in your base. And... The eh, one not, thing, not thing Saber was afraid of was this. Oh, so I nearly had that. Ow! Gets one. Got lost one there, and he saw, okay, he's going opening Marauder. Why is he opening Marauder? Because he knows you're going to go Mass Reaper on this map. <laughs> uh, I'm just yeah. quite impressed that this is this is holding off as well as it is. Uh, Saber's actually looking really good as he moves past the kind of early game stages of things. He's got his bunker established at the front, which is going to be pretty hard for Reapers to break, even with five of them. And as these guys move towards the mineral line, the Marauders are there to intercept. They don't really take all that much damage. Yeah, two Reapers go down. They just can't get away. No, they can't. That's perfect, dude. <laughs> it's so perfect. Talk about absolutely shutting down Reapers. That is... that's really very cool. Uh, good splits from Canary there. Uh, the Reapers <coughs> are going to attempt to chase the Hellions away. And they're going to be do a pretty good job of it, but Saber's army is significantly larger than that of his opponents by this point. Uh, and with just more... well, it was just more and more Reapers. Now we're actually seeing some Marines thrown into the mix. Canary is going to attempt to, I think, just go all in again. Again, well, he was about eBay. to start a command center. Did he just change his mind? No, he's gone for a factory in an eBay. Hmm. Yeah, he could be playing for one base plays all day. Not feel. Maybe he's not as confident about his macro in the late game. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him play in the late game. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to like base it on experience, but no, every single game he did something so unusual that it's kind of hard to gauge the situation. But Saber definitely looks very, very dominant at this point in time, if nothing else can be said. Saber's got all of his economy up, looking very, very strong. Nice base saturation, got an extra command center on the way, and Medivacs will probably be coming out of this, uh, this Starport factory to Starport Tech Club. What's the word? Mm. Reactor. There we go. Starport Reactor to support the bio army as it moves around the map. Oh, did he spot those? Nope. Okay, so the barracks will live a bit longer. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this Hellion. I, I, I feel like siege tanks are needed here. One or two good hits from the splash of the Hellions right now, and this will be very, very short. This is really interesting. Saber scans the top of the ramp. He sees a tech lab factory building something, and he doesn't know that it's not a widow mine. Or he doesn't know that it's not a siege tank. He 
it is a widow mine, but he doesn't know that. So uh, Saber might be feeling a little bit more frustrated for time than he actually really is at this point. Wow. But he's dancing and dodging and ducking <laughs> and diving. Yeah, but uh, not very effective there. No. It's not very effective. Uh, with the Medivacs to get across the map and can't support this army, I think what we'll see is Saber just lift up and go straight into the mineral line and attempt to do some real damage. But as it stands, there isn't a lot that he can Ooh. do to boss this front. There's a Widowmine there now as well. He's just going to be... And we got a Reaper counterattack going across the map, and it may not be spotted. Nope. It squeezed... Oh, it got spotted Small by the tank. last siege tank. But there's nothing still there. It doesn't change anything. There's no units to defend except for the other siege tank. Yeah, I don't even those. know. <laughs> uh, the tank's doing a pretty nice job just driving away the Reapers. I've never seen tank versus Reaper micro before. <laughs> but the other tank comes up to the front line, and I think he's just going to see... Oh, no, it's tank versus tank. Uh, Canary's tank oh! has reached the field now. It gets the first hit off. Canary does have an advantage here. Doesn't even have high ground vision at this point, so Saber can't really... Oh, and the Widow Mine detonated, and there goes like all oh. the hell units. Canary wins that fight because Saber's control wasn't quite perfect. <coughs> oh. My goodness. Oh, now those Reapers did get cleaned up, it would appear. No, they didn't, they all lived. Holy crap. Yeah, there's still a few left. Oh my goodness, they they're, they're sitting by the third, where the third would be. So cheeky. So Saber's now taking his third base, and uh, Canary is expanded. No, wait, no, he's taking a third as well. They're both taking thirds. Oh, he went under the siege tank. This is... This is bizarre. <laughs> this is like, it's actually stabilizing into a macro game. Oh my god. What is That's going on here? <laughs> it is worth noting, Saber does find himself in macro games quite a lot of the time, whereas Canary often ends the game at times maybe before the macro can be established on either side. Yeah. Uh, so Saber really, I think he quite likes his macro. He likes getting himself into a macro situation. He likes going mech when he macros. And he likes just generally being on that kind of ultra turtly terrain that, uh, that is so <laughs> frustrating to attack into. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. He, he'd be perfectly content just going ahead and mining half the map right now. Yeah. Build up and guarantee himself that he will eventually win this game. But I don't think Canary is going to let it go that long. <laughs> no, I don't either. There's quite a big force that's just about to move out of the natural. Oh, drop move. Okay, so here comes a drop. He lands the barracks to prevent the rare. Like <laughs> oh, that is... That's very Saber. That's exactly what... I think he was trying to do that in the previous game as well. Uh, because obviously you can send them out. You can send out your barracks nice and early when... Uh, you're going to go pure for, mech. Yeah, when you're going mech because you don't need it for the first little while. He's got two factories in production at this point in time. And he's rebuilding his barracks just in case. So he can get himself back into producing factories when the time comes. Mm. Uh, but there's a drop coming out from Canary that's going to attempt to stop him ever reaching that stage. He's going to run into, I think, the main. And there isn't a lot of defense up there. No, so if there he hits... Isn't. There's no sensor towers either at this point in time. Oh, so. the turrets are just going down now. It's yeah, too late. Here it comes. It's too late. Here you go. Here's the drop. Another big <laughs> drop out of Canary. And he sieges straight up with that tank. Oh, my. Yeah, this is him. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. I'll never understand what goes on in this guy's mind, but right now he must be feeling pretty good because even with the loss of a tank, the loss of a medevac, he's picked up a 13 SCVs. He's going to pick up a bunch of missile turrets, which is maybe that's an unusual team. choice. But he can, he can drop more now. That's what he's doing there. He's enabling his ability to keep dropping as we go into the game. He's also got a full scout off on the base. Even though this drop's been cleaned up, I think that was pretty good for Canary. Oh, absolutely. And ironically, he's still behind in workers. Don't ask me Not how. He, his, uh, his worker production's one of the things that really keeps him back, to be honest. It's not quite right. And you really have to have strong macro to stand up to a mech player who has really strong macro. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You can't fight. I wish there had been a second drop going at the natural at that same time. That would have been so good. That would have been something. Right now we got quite at least what one, two, three idle S four idle SCVs for Saber. So that's a thing. And it, it, uh oh. <laughs> bit of perhaps an accident an accidental premature firing there for uh 
for Canary, Sabre does have a massive air advantage, so he's going to be able to just use the tanks to greater effect than his opponent at this point in time. And Canary can't really push forward because the third seems a little bit. Actually, he's found a it's sweet spot. The tanks got that. I'd love to see just the uh, the stim forward take out that third base, but the Marines kind of left it a bit late. And even though they're on higher health now, he didn't kill off that third base. He, di he did force a lift, but he didn't kill it, and that would have been a real blow to save his economy rather than just a temporary setback. Mm -hmm. But he's delaying it, and that's something. He's buying himself time. He actually got his third up and running. He did. He's not too far behind on SCVs either. Uh, and these Vikings Ooh. that are moving out... Yes, yeah, so Canary's forced to scan every single time he wants to engage here. He can't actually fight properly. Whereas, Sabre's got the Viking, so he just sits above his opponent and just fires and fires and fires and fires. Oh, that might be enough. Oh! That might be enough! Yeah, he's actually going to get that. He got it! Oh, if he, oh, he's got to back up or do something. Oh, the new one just got forced to be cancelled immediately. <laughs> oh, that was, oh, uh, that was, that was that very brave of Sabre, and it did not pay off. But and he, he dropped! Oh. He dropped the natural! <laughs> He just took yeah. out 11 more workers. Oh, this is it for Saber. He's oh, so much 20 workers killed. Oh, Saber is so far behind right now. <laughs> He really is. Uh, he does have these. Well, I was going to say he has the superior army, not in terms of supply, but he does have a lot of tanks, and tanks and Vikings can outmaneuver uh, Bio to a pretty strong extent, even with the Marauders that Canaries put into the mix at this point. I think the Saber, he might be being carried a little bit because he's got that extra. He's got that extra command center. That's going to enable him to kind of keep in the macro stakes, even when perhaps he shouldn't be. And he's got another one. He's got another command center in his yeah, base. He's got four total. One, two, three, uh, four. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, maybe it's a backup just in case he loses the third again. <laughs> I, I honestly think it might be. Um, Saber's deciding not to push out across the map. He is not going to go just all in his opponent, and that leaves Canary with something of a window. <laughs> He's coming right now with a he lot of marauders. The marauder hit squad has arrived. Has he got stim? He has got stim. Um, yes. Does he have concussive? Yes. He does have, yeah, I've, I've remembered where the upgrades tab is yeah. now. So he's got all those, and he, I mean, not that tanks are the most mobile unit in the world, but having all those upgrades is pretty important. But instead, Canary decided to lift up. He's going to fly in. I think he might attempt to just drop on it. Like, go for the kind of land on your opponent's uh, tank so they don't have to oh, yeah. fire. That is so hard to do. <laughs> it either works really well or really badly. Oh no! No, the Vikings! The Vikings! Okay, one down. One of those Raider has been killed off. This drop has not gone well for Canary at all. Uh oh. Yeah, Canary's losing everything. Wow! Yeah, Every Raider is straight down. One tank, two Marines left. Wow, that just straight up was a fail. The Vikings! He just didn't expect the Vikings. And that just even things back up. I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't. I mean, he saw that there were six Vikings before. He scanned it. He scanned those Vikings, and you know you don't drop into mass Vikings. So, a bit of a weird decision coming out of Canary. This is why they say he is so crazy. And he's continuing to push out with troops here. He's happy with his infrastructure. He's building on more factories. And... I don't know. I think he's trying to contain Sabre here on three bases. Ran into the Hellion hit squad. Whoa! Good so splits coming yeah, out. Yeah, that was pretty good splits. He's got a bad up. engagement. Bad, bad, bad engagement. He has good micro, but poor decision making. And what that's doing is every single time he gets what could be a great fight, and instead he runs in and loses so much more than he needs to. Yeah. Doesn't need three thousand resources more than his opponent at this point, just because every single time, even with that mobile bio force, he just suicides chunk after chunk of it. He got, got nothing for that attack. He got actually nothing. He killed one siege tank. I have a two. I, I didn't even see him kill a siege tank, but I, I believe you. Yeah. Uh, that was it, though. That's not, that's not the way you need to be trading, even when you are up by an increasingly small SCV lead. But uh, Canaries had the macro lead for a while now. But you can't afford to make those decisions. You can't just throw away army after army at this point in the game when you're at this level well, of macro. He's macroing up to 4th base, that's going to give him the base lead. 
And he has like a plus ten laser lead. Uh, I mean, Canary is good in all categories as far as numbers go. He's not yeah. going to be in a second here. Oh, he found him. There we go. The Hellion Rumbling not quite getting away with it. Not going to get into that natural. Being picked off by the buyer, I think. Yeah, Canary uh, was holding that watchtower. Yeah, very nice. He's got good map awareness, but his decision making has been so odd. Yeah, it's crazy. He's actually setting up a CC in the bottom left hand corner. It's been found of... already. Yeah. In fact, uh, the Blue Flame Hellion just killed off the SCV, so Canary's probably going to have to cancel that. And it's going to go down to the next one that Canary's trying to expand to. So he's going to kill off the SCV there as well. Wow. Alright. So, a couple Marines coming back over here. Going to probably play Roasty Toasty with this Hellbat. But they're all in the same oh, no. spot. No, no, no. Oh, no he, gets away with it. he gets away with it. Uh, but it's... This is kind of a weird situation to be in for Canary. I think he's he's trying to end the game because he's aware that he's done damage, but he doesn't know how much damage he's done. And if he compares it to his own stats, Saber's SCV production is just better. So Canary might be getting a false idea of how it's going uh, by looking at his own numbers. Saber's now established a big mech force. And every time Canary attacks, he really can't win fights unless he just gets some kind of perfect engagement. So as it stands, it feels like Canary's playing into Saber's hands a little bit. Uh, yes. I think impatience is going to hurt him. Because he does, he, Saber is content for this game to go two hours. And we'll be fine with that. We obviously would not be. No. But it is certainly plausible. Saber looks like he's going to try and swing around and establish that fourth base. Right now, creating a huge hole in the natural. But this is an opportunity, but I don't think it's going to be seen. I don't think Canary has the ability to spot that hole, and Saber's rather banky on that. <laughs> Even oh, actually, he perfectly scanned the fourth. He just scanned the fourth. He should be moving in right now, and there goes everything. Yeah, Canary, good Viking count coming out, Canary. He should lose in a Viking versus Viking fight because he doesn't have the mech upgrade, and there's a load of turrets here. Canary going for this attack. Once again, I think this oh, might man. be an unwise decision. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> it's really okay, you know. He landed the Vikings on the high ground and lost almost all of them. The bios are stimming into the natural, though, and there really aren't the tanks to defend at this point. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, going to lose the natural there. Saber's already lost it. Oh, Up at the top of the map, he's attacking. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering here. Those widow mines got to be spotted soon. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that's probably fair. when they blow up the tanks. But, uh... In a base race situation, I kind of favor Saber. Does he still have those Vikings left? Uh, yeah, he has seven Vikings to the one of his opponent at this point in time. So if it does go to a base race, Saber's going to be able to jump up and down and kite his opponent all over the place. Whoa. Oh my god, he just got wrecked right there. Yeah, up at the top. Yeah. These siege tanks just... I mean, yeah, Saber's like, okay, yes, you got my natural. It's gone. Um... But deal Those with this. Little mines are about to blow up two more tanks. <sighs> it's just not working out well enough for Canary. He can't defend against this many tanks in his natural. Yeah, there we go. GG. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh boy. ASL Season Two Semifinals Round of Four. Okay, guys, we are here. We are in the game. It's time to kick off the third game of this best seven series by introducing the player spawning in the top left. He's in the pink trunks and hailing from the USA, I believe. Looking teamless, it's our Terran player. Canary. And in the bottom left-hand corner, the co-founder of the ASL, the Season 1 champion, the man to beat 2-0 here going into game number 3, it is... Saber. Yeah, there's always something interesting going on in this game. <laughs> this could be the shortest best of seven. <laughs> <laughs>
it's probably not going to be spotted. Any route an SCV is going to go is not going to spot that. And he's just now got to his opponent's base. He's going to see no rack, so that's going to tell him, okay, here it comes. And a Marine coming from Saber. A Reaper going to be done first for Canary. Going to be able to deny that bunker on top of it. And yeah, here the comes the SCV in the bottom left. Well, the bunker's going to come down at the front, but Saber's put, deliberately put his buildings in a position that kind of naturally walls off against... Uh, Kind of naturally walls off against Reaper aggression because he knows that Frost is a decent map for it. Oh, a bit of miscontrol coming out of that Reaper there, but uh, Canary does get it out in time. He's going to try and deny this bunker, and he's doing a pretty oh, good boy. job already with two SCVs coming down, uh, having been killed off. But, uh, oh, nice, nice dodge with that Reaper. Whoa. No, no. What uh -oh. is he doing? <laughs> he died, but there's another one. There's another one. Oh, but now yeah. the. He is a severely crippled Marine, but he will do no good on the high ground. Proxy single Reaper, jeez. <laughs> What's even <laughs> happening right now? Uh, Canary once again showing us his absolutely crazy strats. But he's done some good damage. He's picked up a couple of SCVs already. And the funny thing is, because he cut so much into his own economy with this cheese, Saber's so still up on workers. Oh my he's god. Just, <laughs> yeah. This has been really, really unsuccessful. And he really needed that second Reaper. He needed two Reapers at once, I should say. The second Reaper needed to be there uh, a moment before. <laughs> the guy's out of the bunker. He's out of the bunker. Go back. He's this not is an opportunistic strike. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> he knows he's going for it. That, mar that Marine goes down, leaving two Reapers to go to town on those SCVs. There are two Marines left. But uh, now they're in the, yeah, uh, they're in the bunker. Saber is hard for us to kind of keep himself uh, in the right place at the right time. He's really trying to split his forces, but the more time goes by, the more opportunity Saber gets to defend this, and the further behind I think Canary's going to get. Oh boy! Three Reapers at once oh, okay. again. There goes that Marine. <laughs> oh God! Let's see how good his micro is, because that one in the front. Okay, now let's move into the back. Get out of that corner. You don't want to be in that corner. And oh, two loses one. All right. It's still pretty major, though. Four more SCVs down. Uh, and they're all soft. They're going to go. Oh. <laughs> He's got a micro. <laughs> I don't understand how he... Uh, oh. This is still happening. This is another Reaper to the Marines. Uh, has killed six workers by this point. They're now on equal SCVs. And Canary is not looking like he's stopping with this pressure. This yeah, could actually be it. game ending. Oh, there I'm goes a SCV. He's going to really struggle. Mark. It's going to be a real struggle for Canary if this Widow Mine comes out uh, from Saber. Because Saber can use that to zone the Reapers really strongly. I think he's oh, just trying to... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, behind it, Canary's got his own factory up. He's making Hellions, and I quite like that as a decision. He's going to get those Hellions. He's going to, I presume, send them just across the map and try and do whatever damage he can by attacking his opponent as soon as possible and hitting hard, hitting fast. He could do some real serious damage to the SCV line. It's kind of a shame that Canary hasn't built any more SCVs, though. Yeah, he is kind of sitting low. Ironically, he has the worker lead. <laughs> Yeah. He does. 13. He does Woo. now, but he's not making any. Oh, there we go. There's the, uh, there's the SCV. So it's on its way for the first time. And uh, with four Reapers oh. and a Hellion moving up, this is going to come down to, I think, mine positioning and control. Canary oh, no. is going to have to be really careful. Really careful with this attack. But there are two mines. I know. <laughs> I'm looking at them and just, I'm, I've got dread going in my face. Uh, yeah. I see bad things happening. Once again in this game, it looked like Canary was just going to win, but Saber's pulled off some pretty miraculous comebacks so far, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him just do it again. 40 plus, 40 plus splash damage to nearby units. Yeah. So, it's well, a good job this Reapers aren't Protoss. Uh -huh. No, it yeah. doesn't. They're, uh, they're 60. 60 health? I thought they were 50. I thought they were 50. What? Sneaky I buffs. I think they sneak buffed it. Oh, oh we got one. <laughs> Not too bad. Uh, now, there are three Hellions and five Reapers at the front for Saber. And Saber knows it. He's just macroing up inside his own base. But he's not macroing in his usual style. He isn't going for the heavy command center style. So yeah. Canary kind of theoretically does have that macro lead. 
Yeah, well, he does have a macro lead. He's got two bases, and Saber yeah. hasn't even started another CC. He's going for, I'm just going to counter into your base with Banshees. You can't yeah. rule it out, though. You can never rule out the Canary macro, because he doesn't have that uh -oh, perfect SCP this... production that he needs. Wow, this is funny. Yeah. Uh, the Reapers... There we go. The Widow Mine has been triggered. The hit has been taken. But the Reapers could just jump up into the main. And there really isn't a lot going on up there for Saber that could stop them. Uh, he's going to lose that command center. Oh, that barracks. Yep. And there it goes. Yeah, he knew he couldn't lift it. I think he's just trying to uh, deal with damage control. But he Here does have a Banshee. Yep. Yeah. Oh, boy. And doesn't have an engineering base it. started yet. No, but he does have a Viking. Let's see if he changes the rally of that Viking. Oh, he's, he's in! in. <laughs> he's just straight in. All of the SCVs are going straight down oh, for fuck. Saber. The Hellions are doing so much work. Fifteen. Three wow. SCVs remaining has... on the field. And he's got him. Does he have enough to hold here? The other Viking needs to land. Actually, the one's doing just fine. The Banshee is... Oh, my God. I'm not even left, sure what's happening left. now. <laughs> we have all the... Oh, if he lands, he can kill all these workers. Oh, God. He's going to do so it. When you have all none. going down so fast. Lifting off that Viking, getting out. Oh. But Saber is on 16 supply, 14 army supply, and one SCV. Now, mules are good, but Canary's got two command centers. Even if he is using most of his energy on scans. Oh, and he just ran out of energy yeah. with that bitch. <laughs> Oh, so, man. it's 12 <laughs> minutes into the game, and there are a total of there are a total of 12 workers on the field. That's correct. That's uh, that's non-standard. That's what <laughs> that's they call that. It's non-standard. It's uh, it's unusual. It's <laughs> Uh, okay. Canary's looking pretty good, I gotta say. I did make a bet before the game that Canary was gonna win this one, and I think that, uh, I think it's still looking pretty likely with that good Viking count, and, oh yeah, he just about gets out of that, but that cloak's gonna wear off so fast. He just doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the energy for it, because he's already used it all up once. Yeah, the Viking's okay, just chasing it down. Into the Widow Mines, don't fall for it! He... Oh god, yeah, he's he gonna... Yeah, he's, he's gonna... Yeah, he, he fell for it. <laughs> He felt uh, bad, bad times to be a Viking. Saber's micro is just, or uh, macro right now is, that that Banshee is so important. Yeah. <laughs> His defense. Uh-oh. Is he going to do the one, one land thing? No, they both land. Every worker is so crucial right now. There you go, there's the, the one land. Back. Oh my god, what do you do? What do you do if you're Saber? Pull the window mines, apparently. This could actually work because Canary is not paying attention. They're... Oh, I the workers he... came back. <sighs> I thought he was about oh. to kill a lot of his oh, own workers. Oh, the Hellions are coming in. Oh, this this is over. This it is has over. to be over. The Hellions running into the mineral line now, toasting away. Canary looking very, very good. It was yeah. just I don't know what Saber's waiting for. He, I guess the Banshees. I guess the Banshees can clean it up, but he's got two SCVs remaining. Two to nineteen. Oh, two to nineteen. What? Oh, there goes another SCV. Where are those two? Oh, they're hiding in the corner. Yeah. And this is going to get cleaned up. We have two Banshee, two Hellion versus two SCVs and a Mule. That's where we're at in this game. <laughs> Canary should be significantly ahead. It really just depends oh. on where he decides to go. Because if he keeps going for those inefficient engagements, as he's done every single game so far. But can, can you win a game being down to two SCVs at the 15 minute mark when your opponent's on two base? If you're MVP? <laughs> if you're MVP? Basically, that yeah, that's my assessment. <laughs> oh He's just God. cutting the Banshees. They're all going to die as well because there's a Raven right there and Saber yeah. knows it. The Viking's just going to chase them down and pick them all off. Actually, no, it's not. It can't catch them. Speed here. Units 275. They're both the same. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Take it out a minute. And then we got a. Oh, he got that Banshee. And he might go ahead and just take this Widow Mine, and he gets it. Even though he loses a couple units. Right now, every unit for Saber is yeah. like. It's gold dust. It is gold dust. Oh, he sees. Oh, he's using his. That's, that's exceedingly cheeky. <laughs> 
That's how you take care of us. Oh, <laughs> I love that. What a, what a hilarious play up Canary. Not nothing but the best. Oh, nothing yeah. but the best. And These now, two Marines have no HP. The SCVs are going to stomp them. <laughs> uh -oh. Run! Run! <laughs> uh. Did they fire it? Oh, what did they blow up? The, did they not blow up a mule there? Oh, no, he blew up the widow mine, I think. With the auto turn. Uh, yeah, he blew up a mine. ASL Season 2, Semi-Finals Round of 4. Alright guys, here we are on merry-go-round and spawning in the top right hand, slightly less gas-efficient spawn. In pink, it's our first turn. Canary. Alright, spawning in the south location. It's going to be that season one champion, hero of the world, guy with a god complex. It is from Celestial 7 say Celestial 7 Gaming. Saber. Alright, well since we have no prediction <laughs> Not even one, not a chance yet. <laughs> well, Canary is scouting the right way first. I wonder what reaction we'll see from that. And I really want to see if we have Way Station, will it be 3CC first? No, it can't be. That's He's saving that for Way Station. That's what I said. I said if we get to Way Station. Oh, if we get to Way Station. I don't know how I just heard Mary go around there. Yeah, no, I, I hope you're right, but I don't think you are. I just think it's too brave, uh, for a TVT. Apparently functional in TVZ. TVZ. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. Don't even know. Uh, Canary actually going for a fast factory this game, which is a that's a normal build. That's a build people do. That's a build people do. <laughs> I've I did. That's, <laughs> Has, has he, like, tagged out or something? Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> he, he must have ran out of clever ideas. Either that or it's going to be your proxy Reaper Ghost Siege Tank Nuke Drop. Come on, proxy Reaper Ghost that. Siege Tank Nuke Drop. <laughs> <laughs> I would shit myself if somebody actually ended up doing that. Yeah. Uh, oh, so we're going to have a proxy factory! It's, it's going to be proxy Thors, isn't it? It's going to be proxy Thor. It's going to be this. It's yeah. It that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be a Thor drop because if he was going to proxy lift off the factory and drop it in that hidden spot in Canary's base, he would have dropped it on the low ground in the corner. So I think this is going to be a proxy Thor drop. He's seen as a sure go Marine Marauder Hellion, and though that's pretty soft against uh, Thor, so I, I could see that mm. definitely in the early game. Well, the Hellion has the advantage of being able to uh, to kind of roast away at the SCVs that are usually pulled to help deal to help the uh, the Thor heal up. So the Hellion's perhaps not the worst choice in the world, just in general. But it does kind of leave the issue of the the Thor can don't kind of just focus it down, and because it's line fire, it doesn't work all that well uh, for killing them off properly um, unless you have quite a significant number of Hellions. Okay, we have weird shit going on. Very um, true. Saber started a widow mine, was supply blocked, cancelled the widow mine, lifted off his factory, and then stuck it in the corner. He's hiding it. He wants to make sure it's not scouted before his armory is finished. But he should be building a tech lab at this point. Wow, so he's trying to ninja this factory so he could do a hell yeah. drop? Yeah, it is it is the house the house of flying factories up in here. Well then and... why would you go uh, reactor? Because you could just use transformation servos and you could get two out at once. Because I think he's going Thor's, because he's gone... he's, he's mad. <laughs> okay, he's so this before. is going to be indeed a Thor drop. Then where yeah. the hell did that other SCV go? Oh, there's the starport. He's just building shit in all these random spots. I'm having a look around like we're playing Duck Hunt or something. <laughs> and Here it comes. The tech lab has finished on that factory, which is uh, obviously landed. Armour's about to finish. It's, it's gone. He knows it's done. 
Okay, well, we got a drop coming here from Canary. So, uh, Couples. yeah, so there we go. <laughs> Not quite going to work out the way he had planned, and it will be if indeed you were correct 100%. It is going to be a Thor drop. That was so weird. I've just never seen somebody go to hide the factory. This, this was, is this is in one of his got to be one of his planned executed map strats. Like yeah, he says, I'm merry go round. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, he's um, he has got some i some very clear cut and distinct ideas about what he plans to do in games. But the reason why he was hiding it is because that Reaper was looking around for it. So that was actually really smart. I don't think it actually checked up there, but uh. Obviously, he was looking at a lot of things at once, so maybe, maybe it didn't. I just missed it. Canary has gone for some weird SimCity in his base. He's actually kind of walled off half of his own base, and <laughs> yes. in doing that, he kind of makes it really hard to defend drops or his natural, depending on which one, uh, which one he feels like attacking. So Saber's kind of at a bit of an advantage here in terms of being aggressive. Is there a? Yeah, there is a medevac. It is Thor drops. I'm really surprised what he's going for think? drops. If he goes for this Thor drop. Goes over that widow mine and runs into that Viking before it lands. Oh, well the widow. Oh, yeah, oh. the widow mine will nearly one shot a medevac in the first place. It hits for 125, and that leaves it 25 health. So a Viking should one shot that. I think it hits for 28 oh. versus armored. Yeah, this 28 versus be. armored. Which oh this, god, it's happening. One, two, okay, straight well, that's... down. And yet the Thor is just going to blast away almost everything. No, the widow's going to now. Oh my god, that was not efficient at all, <laughs> stupid Thor. <laughs> it tried to focus down the Vikings, so it went up and stopped attacking. Yeah. I don't know, that was what, that's what he's referencing right there. Oh, uh, that's one of those things I hate about the AI, you know? It, yeah. The targeting is... Well, they recently patched it. It used to automatically target ground units, but then they patched it so in ZVZ, Terrence didn't have to actually micro the Thor to have it target the Mutalisks. And what it's done is it means that now they have to micro it in every single other situation where there could be an air unit of any kind. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'm not sure if I approve of the... Ch Although, you know, it's not often one sees Thor drops, so I guess it's perhaps... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, here, here comes Saber pushing out with a Thor and some Marines and some more Marines. Has he's he... sending everything he's got. But not the boys. He didn't bring the boys. You referring <laughs> to the SCVs? I am indeed. They are remaining at home, so Saber is not really all in off this, in so far as he kind of is, but, you know, not totally all in. Now he's been spotted. Yes. And can you deal with that siege tank? That siege tank is... Oh, be careful there, Viking. <laughs> That was close. That was really close. Uh, the, the Viking shot n hitting the wrong. Sorry, the SCV. Oh, he is going to try and drop this. I just can't do words. <laughs> oh boy. He's going to have to like uh, elevate them in and out to really do an effective drop with this. But here's where that SimCity could have worked against Canary had he not cunningly moved the factory out of the way. Uh, he is just going to be chipping away at the add-ons and stuff. Now two Thors in the main actually. That's quite significant. One of them taking a widow mine here, but uh. Even even so, uh, do some good damage there, and there's not a lot really. Wait, is this? I this cannot possibly just be. I'm. There you no. go. Okay, okay, okay. That's that was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, well, you actually... know, he didn't lose. He lost the majority of his army, but Canary was in a defensive stance. He didn't have to move his siege tanks out. He's got the army lead. I'd say all in all, that worked out pretty well for him. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. He has lost a lot more in terms of resources than his opponent, and he's still producing those doors. But uh, uh, with that Saber macro, he might do okay, but I still feel like he's quite behind. And with this push now coming out from Canary, yeah. with the Thors automatically spawning out of position, this is a struggle. <laughs> this is a real struggle. And look at the worker count. Plus 17 in favor of Canary. Mm. Saber has just... Because of this Thor drop, has not been able to micro this game. Now, that Thor should be heading on home after that Marine just got pummeled by some siege tanks. And there is there just nothing go. back here to deal with this. If he scans right now, which and he, he just does. Did, There's he nothing. That, oh, he's just going to siege up right there. Or this is the immediate liftoff. Going to, oh, he's. Yeah, here we go. This is once again slightly weird decision making out of Canary. I like that he's gradually elevating in, but the whole time he isn't just smashing it and just going straight for it. He's kind of 
letting Sabre get time to build up to it. I don't think it's going to be enough. There are going to be two Thors on the field, but really not a lot else going for Sabre. Canary's got two tanks as well. Loading and them into the weakest medevac because... Canary still doesn't have stem. Um. Okay, that's a bit weird. I guess the medevacs, therefore, that explains why they've got so much health. Um. Well, he's going to get this Rax. That's going to be kind of big. It's the only one he's got. Sabre really doesn't have that much here to defend. And Canary's army is, is right here right now. There's a Thor. All oh, the SCVs are being pulled. They're coming off the line. He just has to kite back. And the oh, tanks are now way. firing. And he's just... Oh, God. Not so bad. So much damage going down on the economic units of Sabre. Oh, Canary's my goodness. so good. So, so good. He, he may hold here, but he's oh, not going to have a lot left. No. Uh, Canary actually dropping below his opponent in, yeah, losing that medevac as well, perhaps to a bit of miscontrol. Saber probably dealing with that as well as he could have done, but he's got half the workers off his opponent, and even this hidden base up towards the top left probably isn't going to be enough to save him. Yeah, I mean, that that's going to, he's at eight, 28 workers, he's 27 behind, like basically twice as many here, and resources lost essentially even. Saber needs that third base to get up and work. And he's not spending his money, uh, really, is Canary. He's not really uh -oh. using the lead he's got. He's got 1,400 banked minerals at this point. So even though he's got way more income, he's actually kind of behind in terms of his spending. Well, but look at what he's doing right now. He just built four racks. He's got like yeah. seven idle SCVs over there. He's about to be able to churn. It's going to be and a lot of units real quick. Mm -hmm. And he's got his third base up too, regardless if Saber gets the ninja base. Mm. And Saber has established that ninja base. Uh, it's going to be probably pretty critical, to be honest, because Saber's now on th triple SCV production, uh, just as Canary is. But he's got so much catch up to be running. And with this marine tank force, this bio tank, I should say, because there are a couple of marauders mixed in, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, absolutely. His bio siege, I think he's going to try to do a doom drop. If he goes near that armory in the back, yeah, he can't hit right there. But if he were to go into the back and then siege up and lock down, I think that would be the end of it. But he's actually moving to the to right. It looks like maybe he's going to go for the corner in that natural. Maybe come directly from the north. What do you think? <laughs> I'd like to see that. It would be a great opportunity, but so far the scans haven't come down, so he doesn't know what the good, uh, what the good position to attack from is. Now, as it happens, Canary is going to hit the exact weak spot in his opponent's defenses. He's going to boost into oh, that natural right now. Be drops, sick. This is going to end that natural economy for Sabre to such an extent. Oh my goodness! Ten workers killed. Eleven, twelve, just like that. There's thirteen. Make it sixteen. Gonna go ahead and tear some stuff down over here. Trying to move back behind that line. And what do you do now if you're Saber? You're sitting with. I freak out because I've just dropped three Thors in my opponent's main and I'm wondering oh, how God. I'm supposed to deal with this. Three Thors! That's why there's no defenses back here, but Canary's army should just be superior. He's looking really, really good as he moves it towards the main base of Saber as best oh, he can. That's just gonna be pretty big. Picking up. Oh, you need to be careful when you drop on top of those marines, but this It'll is like right. a, a weird base race, to be honest. <laughs> this is a base race that I think in the long run Canary wins. I he's think you're right. twice the army supply. And he's picked off nearly county. all of the production of his opponent as well. Although Saber's not doing too bad a job of that himself. Oh, the siege tanks aren't sieged! Oh, and the splash damage from the siege tanks! <laughs> oh, God, and the front door! There go those siege tanks. Yeah, they're nearly all gone. There's barely anything left back in the base of Saber. Oh Two tanks for Canary in the main. So much damage has been dealt. Saber's down to <laughs> third <laughs> of the SCVs of his opponent. Oh my goodness. There are three. I think though. game two might be going <laughs> towards Saber now. We can't count out that he doesn't have that third base in the upper left. And he's got Thor's ripping through some of the infrastructure over here. But there are just so many units churning out. I don't think it's going to matter if Canary lost his entire main. He's got four solid bases. And we have... Oh, man, our command centers! Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Five mana command centers coming down from our pink turn. He chases Saber, the god himself, out of his own main base. Oh, God, are you kidding me? I, I'm not. I'm not. Wow. Oh, dear. 
Whoa! The Thor volley taking out a medevac, nearly taking out a second one as well. Did he not quite? Oh, oh man. So he's got two Thors left. Now there is that triple starport going up in the upper left hand corner of the map. The two factories are going to burn down in the next 20 seconds. Oh, he didn't finish those command centers. I'd have loved to have seen the super mule. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he I just... actually kind of. I kind of want him to build. I want him to finish those. Uh, he's going to finish them, yeah. I don't think he meant to stop them building. Even <laughs> though it is a big risk, it, uh, Canary can afford it. He can actually get away with that at this point in the game because he has so, so many more workers than his opponent. He has such a convincing lead, and he's now just chasing down all of the command centers that Saber's attempting to scatter throughout the map, going into that uh, full base. Yeah, there got Saber's, another one. Saber's hanging on for dear life, but... He's trying really to buy that base, and the, oh, it just got scanned. He's going triple Banshee, okay, but... Just scanned every base. I think... We, Ah, <laughs> I spice this canary. He knows that it's that. Oh, oh, oh. He's like, I found you, and now I'm going to send everything there. <laughs> I like that I spy. <laughs> He's calm. He you is. Know, losing games one and two, he is pretty calm here at the end of game four. Whenever I've spoken uh, to him before, he always seems really chilled out. He seems to just be having fun. And uh, he can afford to have a bit of fun at this point. He's going to stim up to this PF up in the north. And uh, no matter how much Saber tries yep. to heal this, Thor DPS is better than SCV heal in pretty much any yep. circumstance. Oh my goodness. And there you go. That's Here come the Manor Mules again. <laughs> Saber must know it's over. I think he's really just trying to get a Banshee out. But even if he does, what's he going to do? He's got no cloak. At I some think point. He's just frustrated right at the second, and so he's giving himself that. I know I lost now, so breathe. Recompose yeah. and get ready, you know. He did get the three Banshees out, and the three Banshees are after the third base. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Canary never builds turrets. I don't know why he never builds turrets. I mean, turrets aren't that great against three Banshees, but even so. There we go. ASL Season 2, Semi-Finals Round of Four. Alright guys, here we are in the fifth game of tonight. The score is currently 2-2. Two -two. And the player who took the latter two of those games is spawning in the bottom left in pink. We have our first Terran. Canary. And in the upper right hand corner here, he took the first two, not the latter, from Celestial 7 Gaming. And already starting his cheese. It is. I do. <laughs> Saber. Oh, well. <laughs> Enjoy your money. Uh, what did you bet? Ten cost of dollars to each of them that nothing would be proxied. <laughs> I bet you all three of them are laughing their ass off right now. Well, it was a pretty, it was a pretty brave bet. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm down to like... Later. I think I'm down to like 20 now. And that's Does okay. he know about this? I'm no. not even sure. I just... I just... His build, look at... I, this is a very good defensive build. Yeah, right? He knows. He doesn't see it? Oh, but no, he but did go around the base. Yeah, okay. he looked up, and this is behind the mineral light. I mean, he's possibly making some assumptions, to be honest. Marauder uh, push! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Yes, it is the famous Saber Marauder push. I have seen him win games mostly against Toss. If he does this against Toss, it's rather disgusting. Um, yeah. But he is going to do it here. And, oh, he's going to have to wait for a couple of more Marauders if he wants to push the ad. I don't think he expected to see a bunker up there, but he's going to put down one of his own. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Left ka-ching. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that like everyone in the chat now has more cost dollars than me, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, the macro's not too bad for Saber. 
obviously all of his infrastructure is sitting out the front door of Canary. And I would, oh, no, you know what? I thought he would go factory to get a siege tank to take care of this. But no, he's going to build a CC. He's just going to well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting an extra gas behind it and taking an eBay. So I think what he's doing is he's preparing for the worst whilst uh, getting ready to transition. I wouldn't be too surprised to see the Thors or a very heavy Banshee follow-up coming out of Canary because either one of those is pretty good against Marauders. And I, re I really think, no, he's going for an extra barracks. <laughs> Oh, Whatever. Dirty. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, triple Marauder here. Actually going to chip away at the front to quite some extent. Going to do some good damage to these uh these depots. You need to pull some SCVs to deal with that. Or not. Depot goes down. Well, it's not like he's going to do a run by here without stem. Yeah. That was a really brief supply block uh, coming out for Canary because he he got supply blocked and then his command center finished. And... I guess Saber could perhaps have been able to deduce from that that uh, his opponent, you know, couldn't have been producing. But it's very difficult to work out in any situation like this because it could have just been uh, part of the builder's plan. Can yeah. He, he's doing weird stuff. I don't... I mean, I, tr I trust him. I trust him. But this is funky again. <laughs> yeah, this is actually... Um, Saber has done this build many times. And yes, he has done it in the ASL before. In Season mm -hmm. 1, he did this build. And, like I said, it was against a protest, and he did win. Maybe. Didn't he do it against Ender? Did he do it against Ender, too? He might have done it against Ender. I can't remember. He does He does this a lot, is the point. And uh, it's a build that he feels very comfortable with. He's actually... Oh, now he's going to transition. The Reapers. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Canary's going Reapers, but Saber's built a starport on that proxy tech lab. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. He's going cloaked... He's going really proxied cloaked banshees. Should we make a bet if there will ever be a missile turret made by Canary in this entire series? Well, he's got an eBay at this point in the game for basically the first time ever. So oh, he's not gonna do of it. All, <laughs> of all times, this is the most likely time. If he wins or loses this game, he should learn know to build a turret every time from here on out. I think uh, he's built a banshee three out of four games. He has. Uh, uh yeah. No, it's four out of five even. It's that high. The two Reapers are going to run into the main base of Saber. And actually, whilst the Hellions are a bit oh distracted, that's oh pretty big. Yeah, if he can keep it from lining up here, he'll be fine. He pulled all the workers off. Perfect line, though. Perfect line coming out of the Reapers. Uh, really obliging Saber, got but it. he does. Oh, he okay. got surrounded. That could have been <laughs> so much bigger. If the micro just going to put one point from Canary, he really could have done some work there. But as it is, uh, Saber, I think, had... Well, no, no, Saber's fine. Uh, Saber's just microing that Banshee, going for the Starcraft Master uh, achievement. Yeah, I was thinking Through Canary's that. base. Chipping away. And he's it's, actually... Yeah. Well, he's going to build a Starport and just go for Viking again. Oh, I, wait, what? I seriously thought he was going to find that... Uh, he, I thought he was going to find that hidden... Oh, let's say hidden. I thought he was going to find that extra base. But it turned out it just didn't quite, uh, didn't quite didn't happen. Get... No, he didn't. No. Okay. Uh, where is this other banshee? Oh, there he is. Hey, he started his first missile turret ever! <laughs> Will it finish? If it doesn't finish, then... Oh, he's now making all the missile turrets. Man's got a plan, but I think that he's responding pretty badly without sending the marines over here. Because one banshee has fantastic DPS. It's going to chip away at all of those turrets. I don't... No, yeah, whether I think that one's a oh widow mine, good shot, and the turret finishes. Oh! And that scam was totally unnecessary, but the point stands. Uh, <laughs> the the missile turret completes. I'm glad I didn't make that bet. Um, yeah. oh, nice Saber's just trying to be as annoying with his banshees as possible, but behind this, his macro's looking okay. Yeah, I mean he's doing pretty good. The thing is that he doesn't know that Canary has a natural. He should find it. But he hasn't yet. Uh-oh, that is a lot more Hellions than last time. Oh, yeah. That is a few. The Reapers aren't getting out this time. I mean, they didn't get out last time, but that's that's a different story. And uh, these, these, with these Hellions out on the map, does Saber have his eBay yet? Not his eBay, his armory. No, he doesn't have his armory, so he can't go for any Hellbat attacks, but Hellions are a little bit better against Terran in general anyway. Just because you get that maneuverability that so much of the Terran without Stim, or even with Stim, uh, lacks compared to a Hellion. Canary's about to lose his natural. I just looked at the attack rally path on these Hellions. They're going to come by this base in a minute. 
He's run off. His, he, he, I'm, he, his full rally is all the way there. Now, I, uh, what's he going to do? He still can't take his natural. No, he can't take his natural natural. He's taking a different natural. He's and, taking and his he's going to lose it. Well, he's certainly going to lose the SCVs. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> that's, I mean, that's what I mean. Mm. It's pushing yeah. in towards that. There we go. Saber's found it. He's going to do good, good damage here. Roasting away at all of those SCVs before Canary even notices and has a chance to really pull. Yeah, all of those SCV goes down. All, uh, all nine of them. Mm. Yeah, and he really needed that too. He can't sit on one base for too long. He did. <laughs> He's got a... All the way through these games, we've basically seen Canary do some really good strats with some pretty decent execution and then lose out generally due to not producing enough SCVs. And that's exactly what I think is happening here. He took his expansion later than Saber. And Saber is, is way ahead. He's even got a third on his way now. Yeah, he does. I think uh, Canary is about to make a push down this ramp. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised by that. There's a good force sat there now. And does he have stim? No stim yet, but there, we do see plus one. either. No, he didn't build stim until like 20 minutes, but either way. Oh my. Well. I'm just waiting for the push down the ramp because we know it's coming. Oh, it's on its way. This. It has to be on its way. Because Canary's not producing medevacs, so you can't leave by any other means. Canary's producing a Banshee and Vikings, and that's weird. That's really odd. Um, there are triple starports, actually, but he doesn't have the gas. You can't make, you can't do triple starport of one base. It's just, it just huh? doesn't work. It just isn't a thing. Canary worked in the bunker down with his own Banshee, and as there's only Marauders in that bunker, he can just do this all day long. <laughs> all day long. Uh, Actually, <laughs> going for the practical approach, just decided, nah, I'm just going to kill the SCV. It does, it kind of, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to let it heal, because all the time it's healing. The Banshee isn't achieving any more or less, but Saber is spending more money on it. Just kind of weird, very much theory craft there. But uh, getting uh, the Banshee kill he's is He's got to be so careful here. I... Yeah, he's going to try and get that Raven out there. He just needs to push down this ramp, like, right now. I don't really know what Saber's got in mind. He's got this third base, but he hasn't really established it. Once again, he's going for the mech style of things, but he's at the point in his game where, uh... He's at the point in the game where you really kind of want to try and establish your macro and keep up with uh, the, the economy. And he should be doing a good job of that, but he needs those tanks kind of now-ish. I think by the time Canary gets across the map... Oh, boy. Oh, wait, no. Maybe the Hellions can just end this, actually. The splash damage is huge. I know. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All of those Marines just getting absolutely shredded. The Hellions being pulled down the ramp as well by Saber's control means that he should just be able to engage with this, take out the entire ground army. No, that not quite. Not quite. <laughs> okay. It's going to be just enough. Yeah. Just enough. And now, Canary yes. is moving out with uh, a lot of Banshees. Oh, Viking hits on Saber's Banshee. He's going to lose all of those, losing their chance for a counterattack to perhaps draw Canary home. And uh, in what's basically a full Sky Terran army, Canary is going to shove across the map with his one and a bit bases and attempt to uh, attempt to put the hurt on. And he's, he's uh, here come them turrets. He's, here yeah. come the boys. The boys are on their way across the map. He just dropped an entire... Oh, God! <laughs> yeah. He just, he so just dropped all of his bases of mules in his main. <laughs> Do you think oh. he can make this work? I don't think he can. It just doesn't feel right to me. With the with the Thor out now, without that maybe, but there's the, you know, there's oh, this detection. <sighs> oh, they're all landing! GG! ASL Season 2, Semi-Finals Round of Four. Okay, guys, so still in his natural main base. I'm incredibly disappointed in our pink Terran. He's still where he belongs, I guess. And his name is... Canary.
All right, and in the upper left-hand corner, up three games to two. One game away from the finals and having to play pride. Oof, it is from Celestial 7 Gaming. Saber. Do you know why Saber's behind right now already? Uh, because there is... Because he was terrified that Canary was going to go to gold and sent his first SCV before he even started building one. Oh, really? I actually missed that. Goal. So he did that so early, it delayed him. You know, when you, yeah. got, when you start with six workers, it, it takes Look a little longer. He, that's like a, that is a full, like, 10, 11 seconds of barracks fill time. That's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of damage. Uh, that's dealt by sending that first SCV out. That's why cheese is considered so all in, because that money lost is is quite spectacular. It's compounded. By yeah. the fact that you're, not, you're, you're using it, and if you lose it, you didn't make as much. Yeah. Damage dealt in the early game is worth twice as much as damage dealt later in the game. Absolutely. Oh, did he get him? Oh, I'm watching the SCV race in the back. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's so they're coming. <laughs> Zoom in on this. Oh, no, they're behind cover. No, 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 no. no. Oh, what? Oh, oh like, Canary, you've let me down you twice gonna totally this game. Get, you're going to get proxied now for that. Oh, wait a second. Who's building? He's building a factory right there? Uh, didn't get spotted. <laughs> didn't get spotted. Something you can't deny about Canary is that he does have the balls. And, uh, and Saber's bunker rushing. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. Okay, that's that's me being crazy because <laughs> sorry in the production tab, it's just like he's rushing. No, it's it's outside his natural. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay. Doesn't matter. I honestly, for some reason, had saber in my head on the right side, so I thought he was bunker rushing the left yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, this game is shaping up to be as weird as ever. We're already. <laughs> uh, What's it gonna go can... fast? Siege tank rush? I don't even know. What's uh, it's a tech lab. lab. Thor? Is he gonna do the Thor? He hasn't started his armory yet, so he should have gone for the armory. You go for the armory before the tech lab because it takes longer to build. So siege tank? Because I can't believe it'd be a no. What am I gonna be a reactor? Siege tank? It's gonna it, be a siege tank. It, it, it's gonna. I mean, it has to be a siege tank, right? He's but, the blocked. <laughs> I just don't think Canary understands where his base ends and the map begins. Every single game, he's just like, yep, I'm pretty sure that my base is all the bits you aren't in right now. If you can't see it, that's my base. And so here he's got a barracks in the gold of Saber. He's got a factory just hanging out in this little bit that is actually really good for hiding stuff. People don't scout here. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, all right, so we got double proxy here we, I'm from the same player. <laughs> so, yeah. what the fuck is going on? And look, he's now scouting with this. The Saber scouting with his barracks as he does every game, and it scouts the, the barracks, barracks of Canary. And Saber at this point has got to be kind of going, um, um, <laughs> right? Oh, he's gonna move. He knows his bunker. No, he doesn't know this bunkers here. Is this just high ground vision barracks? Because if this is a high ground vision barracks, so he can see up the ramp with the tanks, he's absolutely mad. Oh, that's exactly what it is! It's a high ground vision barracks! <laughs> oh my god! How often does that happen? Uh, well, not like that. Not like that it doesn't, but I love it. I love it. So Canary's actually sieging up the front of Saber, forcing a big repair coming out of these SCVs. He's not out damaging. Uh, the the repair, yeah, but more and more tanks oh, are getting the because... all the time. Yeah. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. And yeah. he's got a couple marines back at home. He okay, should be up. fine here because he doesn't have a natural. And yeah, I just focused down one of the Hellions really quickly. Got the SCV, so no high ground vision. No. Uh, good. Just generally really nice control here. And Canary actually calling down a mule to repair his high ground barracks. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I this love is <laughs> freaking hilarious. <laughs> I I actually think Canary can win this game. And the oh. best thing about this high ground barracks is Widow Mines don't target to it. Oh my god, this is freaking hilarious. He's just dropping mules. This oh, is... and here comes three siege tanks. Oh god, he Save doesn't double check. Range. He's not. 
Now he does because he sees the other two. He's actually focusing down the barracks, but that splash basically got double whammy. Widows on top of widows, getting the marine there too. Goes off finally. Massive oh. damage dealt to the marines at the front, and he needs them at this moment because Saber has just finally managed to get his banshee out. He's actually going to be able to chase this force back because the marines are stuck in uh, Canary's base. Uh, and plans to... the barracks. <laughs> All these tanks are going to die. He's actually going to lose all of these tanks. He can't get away from a Banshee. No, he can't. Oh, man. Those were some great Widow Mine shots. And he's just massing up the Widow Mines right now. Yeah. I still like the landed barracks by Canary. And this is fun. genuinely one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> Every game's a weird game. <laughs> especially on Habitation. Oh, uh, Banshee is now attacking the low ground barracks. It should lift off. <laughs> it's, a, it's a proxy barracks. It's all part of his plan. All right, it's safe. <laughs> it's safe. So, so, at the end of all of that, Saber has got six widow mines and two banshees, and oh, there got two one. tanks and forty marines. He got one widow mine for free. Got, oh, got make one. it two. Wait for the rest of your marines! The Banshees oh. are looking really good now, actually. Oh, there is... is do they have Cloak? They don't have he's Cloak. close to Cloak. He's got 50 seconds on Cloak. Mmm. Uh, if the engagements are good, then Canary can actually just move up the ramp. He needs to siege up pretty close to the ramp and get some good scans down. But with only one completed command center and not enough energy on that, now he has enough energy for a scan. Uh, so I feel like we'll be seeing that fairly shortly. So it's going to come down basically to Saber's micro, which turns out not to be good enough as the first Banshee does fall. They're just trying to chip. Yeah, another tank goes down. Yeah. What else we got coming? Oop, door. <laughs> well, wouldn't you... I wouldn't, personally. I just wanted to know. Um, I think that Thor is a bit of a crazy decision. Good against the Banshees as long as you have the detection, but he's not going to have that detection. Hey, how many turrets do you see at Canary's base? Um, I've looked now, so it's not quite such a good guessing game, but my, my guess was going to be the same as the answer. There are no turrets in Canary's Why? base. Canary <laughs> what? He's building one! It's too late! It's way too late, but... Yeah, as soon as you see Banshees, you have to get that down, and he just hasn't, so now all of these SCVs are going to take some gonna take some real damage. Yeah, I'm going to shoot Banshee away, at least for a second here. He's almost got enough for another scan, too, so he's going to be okay for a moment. And uh, Saber's managed to get his natural down, but actually it's going to get thwarted here very quickly. Yeah. The, uh, the forces of Saber, even though he has got good mech forces at this point, he's really struggling to actually secure his base. Uh-oh, that's the push down with the Hellions. That was so effective last game, but this time, with the siege tank, oh, even splash... Before. It actually killed a Widow that was on the ramp. Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, and he got the Viking one shot. Mm. Oh, my goodness. And Saber is contained on one base. Oh! Canary dropping turrets. <laughs> oh boy. Could this go to game seven? I actually think it's I'm, going I'm to cool now. Enough, but... oh. I actually think we're going to go to game seven. Uh... <laughs> oh, we're, we're almost at a eight. We're almost at a thousand viewers in chat right now. Really? Uh, well, they've tuned in for a, an absolute doozy of a TVT, one of the craziest ones we've ever seen, Canary versus Sabre. The score is 3-2 in favor of our Red Terran, but I think it's about to equalize once again. And he's going to drop a turret. Oh, my God. I don't know what that was, but it died quick. It did, and a scan is going to allow... I, no, if he'd micro that Thor a little bit better, he would have got the extra shot off, and he wouldn't have quite killed the Banshee, but he would have done some good damage to it. Yeah, but this turret's going to finish. And uh, the yep. vision radius is higher than the shooting, so the Thor exactly. should be able to clean this up. It will. Uh, the vision radius is 11, and the detection radius is 11, but the firing radius is 7. Oh, same, for all, same for all, all turrets that detect. Oh, God, yeah. So he knows Banshee no longer has any use whatsoever. Can it's true. I'd like to see a counterattack coming out of it, but he's just Where, not doing that. How does he do it? Don't really know. Oh. Don't really know what I think anymore. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just... 
<laughs> this is what normally happens after you, uh, after you cast Canary. Your, your brain kind of shuts down. You just go with whatever you feel like at the time. Saber has gone for the Siege Tank on the note of going with whatever, and he's getting more and more of them back up in his base. But I think if he pushes down this ramp, it's absolute suicide. So he's contained very, very effectively by this uh, kind of biomech force of Canary. Canary himself just establishing his macro, moving into the mid game. Yep. Now, I, I just want to make sure you guys have looked in the dictionary under ASL and have seen the word canary, which equals erratic, crazy. Yeah, to canary means to do something that would be conventionally considered absolutely mental. Yeah, that is called a canary. Yes, so. and we've seen it all night tonight. <laughs> yep. And that Viking managed to take out a tech lab. And it's going to take out another one. It's, it's not possible. Why nope. isn't he landing it? Oh, the tank's gone. <laughs> That's why. He's like, he, he didn't need to move the tank, is the point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh. going full canary. They're going full canary. Can, can, canary is as a verb. Full, full canary. canary Saber's man is Saber's getting himself a base. Look, Saber's got yeah. a base. He's taking the gold. And that should get spotted by the scouting Vikings here pretty soon. Uh, where yeah, are they so headed? He's gonna go after. Oh, he's in range. It's actually a banshee counterattack. Uh, in the in the natural, Saber's built up a few banshees, and he's been forced to lift. He's actually denied the income there. But Saber isn't paying full attention to it, and now the uh, the SCVs are getting a chance to build extra turret. Just what they want to do. Yep. They're like, we're just gonna hide behind this thing. <laughs> it's gonna. Mm. Oh, and a Viking, one of the worst enemy units of the Banshee. No they turret. Are... No, no turrets here, but uh, a, a scan comes down. Every scan forced out by Saber, though, does obviously damage Canary's economic lead, but really Canary's doing enough damage to his own economic lead in his own because he's got massive amounts of energy banked up on this uh, command center, and he doesn't really have that significant of an SCV lead for someone who's been as ahead as he should have been for most of this game. Whoa, the Thor's going to town there. Range oh, 10 really showing its stuff. My. He's got another one. One Banshee goes down. Where's the second? Not quite. Uh, it gets uh, out. Oh. oh, but he spotted the gold base. Yeah, okay, so you maybe you'll kill this one Marine, but now you've been spotted. Here comes two Hellions. They feel pretty confident by themselves. They're just going to do it on their own without any support. They're just going to try and bust <laughs> through this. And actually, that gold command center is uh, going to be a PF soon. Well, it will be in a little bit. Yeah, uh, Viking cleanup, but there's not going to be any. Oh, he's pushing down the ramp into the siege tanks. It's coming. Oh, Big engagement goes down to the front. I think wow. Saber's going to be able to bust through this. He might, but what's he going to have left? Uh, he's going to have a few Hellbots and a couple of tanks. Losing the medevac as well, actually. The, Thor, uh, the focus fire on the Thor is really nice, taking out a couple of Hellbats for its money, and four SCVs go down too. So at the end of all of that, when the dust settles, the units lost are actually really similar, but Canary's all been right, on an economic that. lead. And it's... Oh my god, it lived! Whoa. Actually and loses a Viking for his god. trouble. God, that yeah. was so <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, Canary's gone for a massive mech force now. He's actually pulling a saber uh, in his own way. But uh, he really needs a third base. He needs to get that third up and establish because saber is on a higher number of command centers than his opponent despite being denied the income for so long. <laughs> yeah, but now he, yeah, he used all of his main up though. So he's still mining off one base. True. Now, oh, it looks like Canary is pretty close to that point too. So he does need to be dropping that third. Get that gold base established while you have this contain going. Yeah, I think he'll probably fly it off. Actually, I think he's going to lift to the uh, lift to the third. Ooh. The gold. Okay. Yeah, I think he's thinking about it. I think he just wants some sort of defense over there, so it doesn't just get annihilated. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, uh, and Saber's just trying to do his normal turtle mech, but I think Canary's oh. got like, oh, the timing on that. <laughs> what a way. Yeah. Beautiful. That's, uh, that was beautiful. But yeah, Saber has actually stabilized a little bit. Um, I, I have to agree with you, I'm laughing, because stabilization is you are completely contained by siege tanks and missile turrets. Yeah, but in this game, I think that's pretty good. I think yeah, it's doing alright. It, it is in this game. I wish I could zoom out slightly more than I am zoomed out. Shift. Shift. <laughs> I know, I mean, even more than that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> These two guys are making the big plays, the big lines. Um, right now, because Canary didn't scan there, he's actually allowed oh, the tank boy. to Sabre to establish a really decent position. Oh! Canary does have the air advantage, though. Oh, the Elbats moving down the ramp are all going to get slaughtered there. And that command center is getting... Yeah, he's not having a good day. He's, he's actually having quite a bad day, I think. All of those tanks that were missile directly... Missile turret, missile turret. There's no anti-air units in this army. Can you imagine if Canary got, like, four Banshees right now? Yeah, that would actually be pretty good. I mean, he'd have to switch over the starport is the problem, so that's why I don't think we'll see it. But uh, instead, he's content to just get himself extra factories, extra command centers, and go into a strong macro position in the mid-game. Sabre finally showing his air lead and when he knows he can beat the Vikings of Canary, so he didn't waste it, and that's pretty smart. And the gold base has been established by Canary. Now that's going to really change the econ. Yeah, that's going to kick it into gear. 13 workers immediately on gold. Oof. <laughs> Viking War is taking place in the skies. Yeah. The longer he can hold this lead, or this contain, ooh, that Thor. <laughs> oh, that Thor got so close to death. I can't even explain. All right. And where are we at on upgrades? We haven't even had a chance. 1-1 one, one right now for Saber, 1-0 oh for Canary. I don't think it matters that much. Ar armor upgrades aren't that great for mech, because, especially against mech, because every mech unit hits so hard that you're not really losing that much. Uh, you're not really taking that much off by getting the armor upgrades, and you need the gas so desperately for the mech anyway that uh, it's sometimes not just not used. People just don't take armor upgrades. Yep. And we got a 13 worker lead for Canary, not counting. If you just pull up income, you know, about 1,500 a minute to about 1,000. Yeah. So three to two advantage here. The siege tank's continuing to push back the line a little bit, but he's trying to get that third base established. Unfortunately for him, there is a Thor over here, and the Thor is the only thing really necessary to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, yeah, the Vikings like... bunching up. Yeah, they're not doing it quite so much anymore. Trying but... to go down the ramp. Oh, oh he lost. I don't think that was intentional, but no. he lost a lot of siege tanks. Well. Now the tables are about to be turned, though, because Canary losing a lot of siege tanks to the positioning of Sabres. His scan was just a little bit off position, and uh, Canary, has he finally taken the tank deficit? Tank deficit? <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, he hasn't. He's on, uh, he's on six, seven to six, so it's not too bad, but Sabres got the defender's advantage. I think the time for Canary to be containing is kind of getting thin, but he's done such a good job so far. Well, he's up to six factories. Yeah. So he's doing that. Remember last game, build big infrastructure and then just start churning. And he just, he's finishing up the last factory right now. And we got two siege tanks at a hell bat. Oh, that's it at the moment. But <laughs> I wonder if he forgot that he has that factory right behind his siege tank line. <laughs> I haven't seen anything produced from it. <laughs> He can't, Saber is so desperately trying to get that third base established. Look at these missile turrets! <laughs> oh He's trying Saber. so hard, but it's just not quite working out for him. And Canary's got this gold base up and established, even taking a fourth now to replace the depleted main. He's going to be on three base income pretty strongly. Yeah, and Saber's got to know that if he doesn't get this down in the next, what, three minutes, four minutes? There won't be any coming back. I think that's why he just unseaged everything, and he is yeah. about... Oh, and they both scanned each other, though. And he sees all these tanks are... Oh, boy. It's coming. Okay. This is the one. He's moving into a choke. The oh, engagement is my. so superior for Canary, but there's such a high tank out for Sabre. Holy crap. We need to win out. There's he's no able to do this. Screwed. Yeah, he is. Wow. Oh, my God. And that's gonna that's probably gonna be the game. Army supply is now yeah. seventy two to nineteen. That's it. Canary. And I think the most amazing thing is I think that's the first time we've seen Saber G. ASL season two. Semifinals round of four. Alright guys. This is the final game of the night, and for the final time, spawning in the bottom right, in the pink, it's our Terran player. Canary.
And in the top left-hand corner, currently supply blocked from Celestial 7 Gaming, it's our Red Terran, it's our ASL co-founder, it's the Season 1 champion, this is his last chance, Saber. it is... I was gonna, I was gonna question. I was like, no, I haven't looked yet, but I looked, and I knew what it was gonna be straight away. It's, it's always a proxy. Canary once again taking the map in the way that he always does, by just, just building, building his first barracks is on it, and he's actually gone for an eight eight eight, um, oh, which yeah. is pretty, pretty significant. That is a serious, serious, jeez. <laughs> it's a really hardcore one. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh so what do you how do you feel about this? It's gonna be pretty effective to be honest. Uh Saber's once again opening up Just with his uh Yeah, he's opening up with his marauders again though. So <laughs> well, he has yep. to after he's like uh shit. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. Uh oh, but there's going to be. The, this is about as quick as you can have Reapers. The first one is already in the base. And so he was trying to rally a, rally a worker to it, but it's already doing some damage. Oh, I love the heal on it, but it's not enough. Uh, wait, oh, it is yeah. enough. Saved wow. it. Played. Yeah. Uh, oh, the next that... wave of Reapers is going to be on their way, though. I think he might just, just get in there before uh, Concussive finishes, but he's going to be pressed to pick off a Marauder. Yeah, he's got to pick off this first Marauder pretty quickly. Mm, it's going to have to be, well, basically right now. The Marauder's going to be chipping away, uh, but the second one's already out, and with Concussive on its way, if he loses one or both of these, this could be game-ending damage. Here it is. Okay. He's not focusing it down. One Marauder goes down, but Saber should just be... Whoa, and they all live. Oh, that was so jammy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Aaron, do we uh. have two more, one almost complete? I think he's waiting for four and the heal, and there's That's only one Marauder out. And he okay, so he's bringing SCVs to assist in the engagement here. Yeah, we're going up the ramp. There are now two Marauders. The Reapers, I don't think, actually care all that much. What he's just going to no oh, losing from that. He did get one. Uh, he needs to be very careful with that. But what he should be doing is just going for the SCVs. He should be going straight for the. Yeah, there we go. Going into that mineral line. Here it's coming. I lost another <laughs> Reaper. And that bunker is done. Oh my goodness. I'm stressed, man. <laughs> I'm stressed over here. I'm yeah, the, Reapers, the Reapers are looking good, but Saber, I think, is looking better. Once again, is responding really, really well to uh, this, this pressure. It's getting the uh, concussive. Okay, at least he didn't have to jump up there. Okay, now he knows both. He's like, alright, so Marauder's issue. Check. And he is dropping a reactor. Is he going to continue with the Reapers? No, it's going to be a tech lab. Okay, so that should effectively end the Reapers. He's got to be behind. Okay, six workers behind. Not even an orbital yet. Oh, my goodness. He doesn't, yeah, Saber with his orbital actually established. Um, he's going to be moving into the middle of the game with a strong, strong macro advantage. And Canary actually going for something quite interesting by building the uh, add-ons just on his barracks, not flying them back as you do often see, and instead just deciding to basically maintain his production from the cross-map position. I kind of like it. It's a bit weird, but it's comparatively pretty normal. <laughs> and here's something very interesting. Um, the one thing Canary always skips to last is Stim. He's going for Stim yeah. first. Really quick stem. Which, it's because I mean, he's getting this big bio push. Yeah, it's just it, that's more normal, but not for him. So, yeah. well, now, conventionally, one support. gets um one gets combat shields first mm -hmm. in TPT, because when you stim a marine that doesn't have combat shields, it goes to thirty five health, and then a marine with combat shields has fifty five health, so it still wins out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, he's just churning out marines right now. What are we going for? Widow mines. Okay. Well, those lovely widow mines. Yeah, they uh, they do good work against the uh, the units the canary's sending out. But with good baiting, I think if we see scans and stuff, and wait, who's landing? Saber's landing a barracks in front of his main ramp. 
No, not anymore. Okay. He realized units were <laughs> said no point. Yeah. Uh, bit of a funky decision, even so. But I think what we might see, I think Canary's going to push up the ramp and lose a lot of units and then, and then be sad. I don't sad. think he would do that. I mean, he, he he does, he's done that before, much. though. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm basing it on. He's he's already done that. Oh, well, SCV kill. So yep. right now, Saber knows there's a ton of forces hanging out around his base. He just doesn't know where they are, how many there are, what kind of econ. He actually really has no information whatsoever. No, yeah, yeah that, that original scout was all he has. And oh my goodness, two turrets going up, just like that from Canary. Well, oh, that's, that's, that's fortunate because there's double starport on his way out from Saber, getting that cloak, getting that Banshee. And he knows that what he's got at the moment with his Banshee control, as it's been so far, he could be in, a, in real good stead. But... For the first time, Canary's bordering on prepared to deal with this. <laughs> bordering on actually being prepared. Well, all of his all of his marines are out of position, so it's going to come down to how fast he repairs um, the turret that the Banshees decide to target down. But uh, it's it's close. Uh, man, I am worried because yeah, if he, they focus down that one turret, if he doesn't repair it. He's got nothing back at home now. They're, oh, I thought that was a turret. I would have been so happy. <laughs> Mm. But, oh uh, boy. I I'm worried here. I'm worried. Not gonna lie. Canary's I just like... expanded, but to a, dif to a different spawning location's natural. Uh... <laughs> I don't mind that at all. He's actually getting a third turret, too. Let's see if the first two buy him some time here, because he's not expecting a turret here. No, Saber's caught quite off guard by that, actually. Oh, and he's gonna intercept that one. Up. Oh, but the cancels! He, I don't really like to. that. Yeah, I mean... He kind of did, but I'm not sure if I really like it. I don't know. Um, yeah, it happens. It is it is forced to happen. Canary's got this hidden base as well, which is going to be really good for him as, as we do kind of proceed. Because Saber still hasn't expanded uh, at all. He's got an in-base command center, so his macro is pretty good. But he doesn't have the... Uh, he hasn't got the bonus mineral income, and it is getting towards the 12-minute mark. So, okay, now he sees that Widow Mine. That is so important. I think this is like... Oh, my goodness! Wait, is he just busting straight up the ramp? Yeah! He actually might do! All of these marines oh, are just gonna rocket straight up! Scan! Ah, oh, it's not enough! Not enough. Uh, God, that was not bad, but yeah, just not enough. That was heroic. That was uh -oh. really brave. Um, he went straight for that, and it didn't quite work out. He's still pumping marines out of these barracks, but Canary, that was kind of Canary's big thing. That was his big attack. He's lost so many depots back at home as well that actually the the Abanches can fly out into this piece of airspace and I think they're just gonna yeah they might get it's... one supply depot but you know what he needs he needs extra turret range he needs to research extra turret range right now <laughs> extra turret range <laughs> you're right actually it good. might help it might help. Yeah, the Banshee, I think, have realized that there's nothing else they can do here. Now, if these Banshees scout that base... Yeah. Are they gonna? I don't think they are. Yeah. I think he's... He's gonna... Oh, nice control at the front for Canary. Yeah, that was a good micro there in the front. Yeah, but... it's not gonna be quite enough as he does have to pull this Marauder back, but the Banshees of Saber, they're checking in the logic... Oh, no, here we go. He's gonna find it now, I think. Uh... See, he was checking in logical places, but Canary doesn't play by your rules. That's oh, like the... no. <laughs> this is just a nightmare. Should have actually let him shoot the factory for a bit. Might have bought him time on that turret. Yeah. Uh, instead, of lifting it up means that the turret... No, the turret is going to complete in time, but the command center is going to be forced to lift up as well. So, yeah, really, down. Saber's map awareness has been very strong. And with three more Banshees joining in, if Canary doesn't lift this pretty shortly... It's GG! Oh, oh. GG! And okay. in seven games, we do have Saber yet again going to the final.